Hey and welcome back to another video about my mini. In the last one I mentioned I wanted to make it look a little bit meaner the next few months and today I'm going to start that. But first I thought I'd show you my brother's mini which is an extreme example. And this is it. Of course this is definitely an extreme, I'm not going to go this far with my car. But there's definitely a few things on here that I'd like to do. First things first, he's de-chromed it. I definitely want to do that to my car. He's added a nice little sun strip here, it's been really hot lately, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm on my way to my brother's workshop now. He owns a mini workshop so I'm pretty much perfectly set for this project. It's about 6.30pm right now and my car has been sitting in the sun all day. So it's pretty hot in here. Some of you may notice a little modification I've done by myself. Can you see it? Yep. It's a little cube rest. So I thought putting this on would be easy. I was wrong. I had to take the front grill off and I'm definitely nowhere near a mechanic and it didn't go well. I'll put some b-roll of how that went in. Don't have your finger right behind where you're gonna stab the pressure through with a screwdriver. So I think this has got a de-chroming kit in it. Let's see what's in the box. Rear brake lights. Headlights. Door handles, front bumper, mini badges, and petrol filler cap. So I'm going to start at the front of the car and work my way around. This headlamp is what I'm going to do first. I'm going to clean all around here and then put the de-chrome on it. So I've just got an alcoholic wipe and I'm just going to use that to clean the chrome bit because the de-chrome's going to go on top of this. Satisfying sound. So now that that's clean, I can put the cover on. I went for matte black, should go on just like that. All I need to do is take off the coverings here and stick it on. What's so great about kits like this is that if I want to sell the car and they don't like the matte black, I can just take it off and it's chrome again. Easy. So let's pick off the plastic. Okay, now for the moment of truth. Boom. Just like putting a screen protector on your phone. What do we think? I think that looks pretty cool. Okay, on to the next one. So same again, I'll call it white. Chrome. Some people go out for drinks with colleagues after work. Not me. Okay. Number two done. So you've probably noticed by now, these bits are still chrome. Don't worry, I've got a little bit of cover for that as well. Everything will be matte black. There you go. Let me just pop them on. Now 
there we go. Headlights are done. So now we're going to move on to the front bumper. Got this guy going there. This guy going down there. Okay, that's clean. Ah, it's stuck on my shoe. There you go. So I'm just gonna do this bottom one and I'm popping the bonnet just to make that a bit easier. Nice. So we've done the headlights and we've done the front grille. Now we're gonna do the badge and then this whole section will be de-chromed. So for the mini badge here, you have to apply the adhesive double-sided tape myself. Oh shit, the gate's closing. I thought you were joking. No, let's go. Oh, So I'm just editing this video now and I realise it's not really clear what's happening here. So basically my brother's shop is on an industrial estate and it has a really big gate that shuts at 7.30 and once you're locked in, you're locked in. You have to message the sort of owner of the property and he gets really mad. So what happened here is he asked me to run for the gate. I didn't really think he was being serious and so I didn't move. But if you look at the time lapse here, if I move it frame by frame, you can see him sprint, there he is, to the gate to catch it. And then we just had to pack all of our stuff up and rush out. So I was more focused on getting out before the gate shut again than filming it. So I just thought I'd give you some context. So it turns out that the industrial estate that my brother's shop is on shuts at half seven. It's 7.32 now. We've just almost missed the gates back there. So I've thrown the rest of the key growing stuff in the car and we're gonna finish at home. So we're back at home now. I can finish applying the sticky bit to the back of the mini batch. Okay, he's all covered up. Should fit on just there. Question is, did I bring the cleaning wipes? Yes, I did. And there we go. The badge is no longer chrome. There's a really annoying line of chrome that I can see here that I haven't put it on properly. So I'm just gonna try and fix that. Working our way around the car, we're now onto the door handles and these don't have adhesive on, they just clip right on. So I'm just gonna give this a little polish. And then it should just clip on like that. And now onto the other side. And this one's slightly different because it's got the key bit. And again, just clip on. And now onto the petrol filler cap, he just pops on like that. And finally moving on to the tail lights. Again, adhesive and then stick on. You know the drill by now quick and easy, give it a clean. And then stick him on. Easy. Now for the tail light on the damaged side, same again.
and then again just stick him on as you can see from this shot my mini is extremely dirty but I've got a two-hour drive up to Clarkson's farm tomorrow during which it'll get even dirtier so I don't really see any point in cleaning it and the final piece for today and we're done so that's most of the car done there's just the belt line here to go I think I was pretty optimistic thinking I could dechrome the whole car and get a sunstrip on there tonight I think it's made a big difference of how the car looks and it's fairly easy to fit I thought I'd need a lot of my brother's help but he only helped me once or twice so I think overall it's a pretty good purchase Let me know what you think of this D Chrome in the comments, whether you like it, whether you think I should go back to Chrome, and let me know what you think I should do next. In the meantime, like, comment, and subscribe, and see you in the next one.